uh, at the age of six, uh, one night when my dad and my mom kicked us out of the house because a dope man was in there and they were partying. Uh, the gentleman that used to be my neighbor, his name was Carlos, he's the one basically that sent me into his family. He came out, he said, I'm tired of this shit of seeing you guys out here. He was 16 years old and he took it upon himself to make, basically become my mentor and my dad for, the, for that time. Um, and like, you know, I, I felt like I was his son. Um, you know, he told me a lot of good stuff. He told me how to keep in school, uh, uh, stay away from drugs, stay away from gangs and all these things. At that time, I used to live in East LA, so we're coming back from school and he's walking me home. A gentleman walks up to us and asks him, like, where are you from? And he, he just, like, doesn't pay attention to him. He's like, whatever, like, you know. Uh, five minutes later, he asked him again, like, where are you from? Like, now he was angry. Uh, after that, uh, all, I, all I remember is just hearing uh, multiple pops. I heard pop, 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 pop. I heard seven shots. Uh, I turned around and as soon as I was turning around, I felt something splash me in my face. It was um, it was his brain matter. He got shot in his face. Um, his blood, his brains covered my body with it. Um, you know, he fell to the ground. And he was screaming. He was crying, and I grabbed him, and he, he kept on telling me not to let him die. I held him in my arms until he died. Um, but everybody else said that he was already dead when I picked him up. That I was the one screaming, and I was the one saying to don't let him die. Um, you know, uh, after that, it's just. Everything went downhill and I started